All right, welcome back to Halftime Report. Let's get to our call of the day. Bernstein upgrading Pepsi, saying they are, quote, throwing in the towel on their underperformed thesis. Joe, you own this one. Well, I, you know, I think, I think the viewers and investors have to get comfortable with these types of stocks. These are staples. They mm -hmm. focus on selling products, which are necessities, which in this environment I think is warranted. Now, in the case of Pepsi itself, the company has done a fantastic job, not only in the balance sheet management, but also the diversification of its product, not just carbonated beverages, there's the snack business, and the revenue growth is there. So you think about this as a consumer staple company, you say to yourself, okay, the revenue growth is probably muted low to mid single digits. This is a company that over the last two years is averaging 10% revenue growth. That's very strong, very unusual. It's a company I think you want to own. Yeah, also strong pricing power in North America last quarter. Surat, you own Pepsi as well. I, I do, and, and you know, people think of Pepsi and they're like, oh, it's a beverage company. It's a snack food company as well, right? And they have things coming in the home and they're raising prices, they're looking at costs, they're rationalizing costs, input prices are coming down, energy prices are coming down, and you're gonna get a tailwind eventually when the dollar starts getting weaker. So a very well-run company in an, in an environment also where it's defensive. Right, you're looking for secure earnings, and that's why this is a cold staple company, right? right? Think people are going to buy these, especially because they like the brand. Yeah, you mentioned it's a snack food company, uh, PepsiCo, maker of Doritos, for example. Jason Snipe, what's your take on this call? Yeah, so I don't I don't own Pepsi directly, but I but I do own Target and Costco, and and for me, as it, as it relates to the consumer, I think these are consumer calls and and the staples. Uh, arena for me is a bit expensive, but if I look to Target, Target had a nice beat on, on EPS, and they're really starting to manage their inventory better going forward. They're, they're trying to get back to 6% margins, which I think is going to be difficult to do in, in, in guiding through this environment. And then, and then Costco, you're seeing evidence of trade down, but they had a solid quarter as well. Both names are up 8 and almost 7% respectively year to date. But my concern is just on the consumer. We talk about the resiliency of the higher end uh, consumer, but I, but I do see some weakness in the lower end. And, and that's why, for me, um, some of these names are concerning.